You guys, it's that time of year again. It's time to go back to school. I remember when I first moved into my college dorm and it is such an epic time in your life. You're literally flying the nest for the first time and you have so much in store for you, you don't even know. <laughs> One thing about the dorms is that people don't always know how to decorate. Decorating your dorm is one of the hardest things to do because it's literally this plain, a lot of times concrete box with all these rules and regulations of what you can and cannot do. So in today's video, I'm going to share a few of my secret tips and tricks for decorating your dorm room for the fall. We are talking about five different topics that are related to decorating your room. Number one is how to add character without breaking the rules. Number two are some general tips and tricks. Three is experimentation. Four is organization, which is a biggie. And for number five, I'm gonna suggest a few specific products that I like, and I'm gonna make sure to link them down below so you guys can check them out. Anyways, let's jump right in. Actually, before we jump in, I have a little challenge for you guys. So right now we're just under 1,500 subscribers and I really wanna get to 5K by winter. So I am challenging you guys to like, comment, and subscribe for this video and make sure you share it as well because once we get to 5k I'm going to do a free giveaway to three lucky subscribers and I'm going to do a free virtual design consult with you guys. I don't know if you guys have seen my design consultations that I do virtually but I take your existing space and I decorate it virtually. I give you all the links, I do the layout and the full shebang. So. If you want to be one of those winners, make sure you share this, like, and comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Anyways, let's jump right in. So number one, how do you add character to a rectangular concrete box without breaking the rules? Because we know that dorm life, they have tons of rules, no nails, no hanging this, no drilling, no, 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 no. Okay. So. There are tons of ways that you can add character to your dorm without breaking the rules. The first and biggie I would say is using the wall space for art. You can use those command strips. Now, let me actually say that these are general. Every rule, every dorm is gonna have their own set of rules, but you can select and choose from this list on what works for your dorm and what doesn't. The biggest thing I would say is to use the wall space. You can add in a gallery wall using command strips. I say this is like the most perfect way to add character to your space. It looks so elegant, it looks chic, and it's gonna have a huge wow moment when your friends come into your room. You want your room to be the hangout spot. My room in college definitely was, and you wanna go ahead and like you know you want to impress your friends a bit but you also want it to be your own like getaway and a full expression of yourself this is the first time that you're living on your own and so you want to express yourself in your space so i would say gallery walls are a very affordable easy way to follow the rules but also to add some character to your space i would say when you are doing a gallery wall take it all the way up to the ceiling it'll just make the room feel more grand a lot of times with small spaces people will just think small with their furniture or just do like minimal decor i'm not saying to make it feel cluttered but you definitely want to use more grander pieces to make more of a bold statement that'll look a lot better in a small space now not every dorm will probably allow this but peel and stick is just like amazing i don't know who invented peel and stick but kudos whoever you are i can have your babies they are <laughs> it is just so amazing and it can add character to any space i think what i like most about peel and stick is it's endless there's so many different designs to choose from now again i would just double check the rules in your dorm because they might have caught on to how popular peel and stick is and they may not allow it but if they do definitely utilize that so another thing with a dorm is that like we mentioned it could be kind of cold so you want to bring in the warmth and this also has to do with like adding character bring the warmth in so you can do this a variety of ways one way is by getting plants you're going to be in school you're going to be studying you might be out partying with your friends 
maybe not like one that's super hard to take care of like a fiddle leaf but get some kind of cactus or some fresh flowers something that's easy to maintain even a foam one would bring some life to your space another way to add warmth is by mood lighting make sure you don't just utilize the big hospital light that's in the dorm room add in some table lamps a floor lamp here maybe get some led strip lights that is like an easy way to upgrade your space with the LEDs, you can put them on the ceiling. You could even put them under your bed, which is what I did once for a makeover. I put the LED strips underneath the bed and then there was just the glow coming from underneath the bed. It just made it look so much more custom and expensive and it added character. You also only have so many outlets in a dorm, so I would definitely consider some wireless bulbs when you're adding the warmth lighting. And lastly, this is something that you might not have thought about, but you can definitely add warmth with drapery like who do you see having drapes in their dorm but it's actually gonna elevate your room a lot you can definitely get some blackout curtains because i know you guys will be having lots of late night studying you could even consider getting some motorized drapes that'll really elevate your space and add lots of character i can bet you nobody else in the dormitory is going to be doing that Make sure you stick around to the very end so you don't miss the products that I'm gonna suggest. So number two are just general tips. One big tip I would say is to get a mattress topper. The mattresses at the dorms are not very comfortable. It's not prison bed category, but it's definitely not a fluffy, you know, memory foam mattress. So you wanna go ahead and make sure to invest in a topper. It's gonna to be really important that you get nice, comfortable nights full of sleep. Um, because you have so much that is going to be required of you during the day and late into the evening studying. So you want to make sure that the sleep that you do get is high quality sleep. So I highly suggest getting a mattress topper. Another big tip is that as soon as you get into your dorm, you should probably clean. I know that they have professional cleaners that come in and clean, but it's always nice to go in and just do a light cleaning yourself before you unpack you are going to be living in this space, so you just want to make sure it's nice and sanitized and up to your standards before you actually start with all of the unpacking. And the last tip I have is to actually talk to your roommate about what their design is. You don't want to completely like clashing styles on each side of the room. Talk with them. Maybe you guys have some similarities. Maybe you can meet in the middle if they are just so against like collabing with you on how to design the space maybe make your design pretty neutral so that whatever you do for your design matches what they have um, that's just a suggestion you don't you know it's not a biggie but i think it does help i forgot to mention this when i talked about creating character but one tip i would say is to get a rug those floors are pretty hard and it would be nice to have a nice fluffy rug to you know press your feet into first thing in the morning when you get out of bed it'll just help the space feel a lot more cozy i don't recommend getting one of those teeny tiny little rugs um some of them are nice but i do think like maybe an 8 by 10 but i think you know get a medium sized rug that might fit you know, just under your bed and then just under your roommate's bed. Okay, and number three is experimentation. I made this its own category just to stress the importance of playing around and experimenting with your dorm room and your style. So I really suggest moving furniture around, playing with the layout as much as you can to find what works for you. You might be moving things around and realize like, whoa, this actually works better than what they had when I got here. You can play around with uh, lofting your bed, unlofting. I personally think lofted beds are some of the ugliest things in the world. I get it. If you want to do that, totally understand. You don't have many options in the dorm. Um, I would play around with your desk placement, like maybe put it by the window or maybe put both of your desks like back to back. There's so many different ways you can arrange the furniture. So take that time when you first get there to really play around with the layout. 
and see what is going to work best for both of us during this semester here together in the dorm. You can also experiment with the furniture by creating separation. So let's say you have a bookshelf. Maybe put the bookshelf like right next to the bed. Get one of those like open IKEA shelves that you can see through and just place it like right beside the bed. You could use it as a nightstand and a divider at the same time. Another thing you can do to add separation is invest in a canopy. You can get a canopy and hang it from the ceiling and just let it lay over the edge of your bed. That creates a lot of privacy at night. Let's say you don't want to sit at your desk, but you want to work on your bed. You know, your roommate won't be able to see what you're reading or what you're typing with that canopy there. It's a nice, functional, and stylish way to add separation in a space that's shared. And I think that's it. Let's go on to the next one. So topic number four is organization. I definitely want to stress this one because you are sharing a very small space with another person and your whole life has to be in this room. So you want to definitely shop intentionally. Don't bring a lot of clutter, a lot of things that you don't need into the space. Make sure it's all of the vital things and you want to put things in storage bins and organize them in categories one thing i highly recommend is putting your bed on risers that way you can have tons of under bed storage i'll make sure to link the risers below but i would store things like out of season clothes under there maybe your suitcase can be stored underneath your bed even like your shoe rack you could put underneath your bed think of ways to kind of conceal and push things away like out of sight um and yeah i guess that's it <laughs> there's so many affordable storage solutions that you can get nowadays i'll definitely make sure to link a bunch of them below you also want to consider getting storage for your desk storage for your bathroom or maybe even getting some additional clothes storage there's not that much room for clothes there and if you are a fashionista and you wanted to bring in some extra things definitely consider getting like um a rack that you could put against the wall to store your clothes and your shoes that you wear on a more regular basis. And lastly for number five are just some product recommendations. I have a ton that I'm going to put in the description box below but I definitely wanted to just share a few of my favorites with you. Uh, one is this tiger rug, this mini tiger rug. You could put this right next to your bed, like when you get out of your bed, on top of the larger rug that I was talking about earlier. This is nice for just over your bed or if you wanted to put it in the bathroom, like right in front of the sink. This is very stylish and I think it brings a lot of character to the space. Now a more expensive item is this Burlwood nightstand. I know many of you guys are looking at me probably right now rolling your eyes like $145 for a nightstand. I totally get it, but I am offering things that have lots of character to them so that you can add bold pieces to your space and create like a lively, colorful, styled space. This is just something to consider. Consider actually putting real furniture in your dorm. Another must have for every single dorm are these rolling storage carts. This is a three tier one and I really like the green olivey color. Obviously, I, I like green, <laughs> but um, I definitely wanted to put this in here because it can be used in so many places. If it were me, I'd probably get more than one. I'd probably put one by my desk for all of my pencils, highlighters, notebooks and stuff. And then I probably would get one for the bathroom as well to store all of my bathroom supplies in. I'm adding this Good Vibes neon sign because it's only $20 and it just gives your room a pop like nothing gives your room a pop like a neon sign if you literally like put nothing else in there this will definitely like make a statement and not only that it'll add a nice pink glow to the room late at night when you're working one thing a lot of people don't think about is adding a headboard a lot of dorm beds don't have a proper headboard they just have like this like wooden squared frame but there's no like actual 
headboard for your back. So I have these two headboards that I highly recommend. They are made specifically for dorm beds. So you can just tie it on the back and then it's a headboard. I think that just makes the bed look so much more styled. It really upgrades the look. It doesn't look so like cheap and like high schoolish. We're not in high school anymore. We're in college, so we need a proper headboard. Next is this mid-century modern floor lamp. I just love the way this looks and I think it'll look really nice in your dorm space. It just has a pop, it's stylish, it's classic, and you can never have enough floor lighting, so I think this is a really good option. Next is this melting disco ball. I thought it was very Gen Z and that you guys might like this. I know I sound super old just saying that, but I thought it was stylish. I thought it would be nice sitting on your like your window pane or on your um, your desk. It's just a nice fun piece of decor to add character to your space. I have three more products that I want to mention on here, but there are so many more that I'm suggesting. So definitely make sure you check out the links below to get the full list of suggested items for your dorm. Next on the list is this floor chair. I love the bright neon color of it. You're going to have friends come in your room and you're not always going to want to study on your bed or on your desk. So getting another chair for people to relax in is a really good idea. I like that it's on the floor because because it still is very youthful and fun and it is very very much on trend right now next is this curvy floor mirror you guys this is like definitely in style it's definitely Gen Z postmodern and it's super super stylish you guys are going to be needing to check out your outfit you know that you already are picking out your outfits for the first day of class that first party that first prep rally or football game you're gonna want a full length mirror so you can fully check out what you have on I definitely recommend this it is a little bit of a splurge but it's a quality mirror with really good reviews, so it'll last for a while if you wanted to take it on to the next year. Actually, I have two more products that I want to recommend. So the next one is this futon. I thought it looked very similar to a regular couch. I hate futons that look like futons. They just drive me nuts. This one I thought was very stylish. It has a mid-century modern look to it. And, you know, if you have somebody sleeping over or, you know, someone's coming to visit you at school, they could very comfortably sleep on this, but it also looks nice, which is a biggie for me. And lastly is this portable shower caddy. I really liked this one because it wasn't plastic. I liked the meshy black material. I also liked the size of it. You can store a ton of stuff in here. Pretty much all of your bathroom essentials in one spot. So I definitely wanted to throw this one on here. But that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you found some tips for your dorm room. And I will see you on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.